Hey, my name is Beth Hiley with Board Game Geek at Essen 2011, and I'm sitting here with Mark, who has brought over a selection of games for us. Absolutely. And the first one that we're going to start with, which is nin uh, Ninja, um, which I'm just going to show a little box art there because we always like to show the graphics. So I'm going to let you dive right into an overview, an overview of Ninja. Okay. So uh, Ninja is a hidden movement game. Uh, simulating a ninja and a traitor who are on a variety of missions to infiltrate a castle. Um, the castle is defended by a series of guards and uh, we have a little light touch of it being set in the world of Legend of the Five Rings, uh, the Empire of Rokugan, so the invaders of the Scorpion Clan and the, uh, the defending guards of the Lion Clan. Um, the basic premise of the game is that the, um, uh, the ninja will have, will have one of several missions um, which are outlined on these cards, and, uh, but they don't know exactly where within the castle they need to go in order to carry out the missions. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to, uh, through hidden moves, uh, they're trying to get their way in there and avoid detection by the guards. Um, it can be played by two to four players, so you can have, um, you can have one player representing the ninja and the traitor, you can have um, one player representing the guard, or you can have a, a ninja and a traitor separately working against a guard, or two people playing the guards and one playing the traitor, one playing the ninja. A lot of flexibility. So there's a lot of flexibility in it, um, and it's 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 basically I think it's a very tactical game. The uh, the ninja has to make decisions about um, how fast they choose to move because the faster they move, the more likely they are to be overheard by mm, the guards. Makes sense. If they do anything uh, nasty to the guards, it can raise the alert level. All the guards become a bit more wary. When the guards become more wary, they get more cards, which means they've got more actions and more op options open to them. So I think early on, the, uh, the guard player tends to need to play things a bit cagey, um, <laughs> not show their hand too early, wait, listen, just, just, just keep wary, um, and then really try and uh, you know, when they, they get an inkling that there's an injury in the, in the castle, then they need to move into action. <laughs> and, it, and, and I have to say, playing both sides, it, it, it's quite an interesting game because it feels different, right? The, yeah. when, when you're playing the ninja, you're really on tent hooks. It's like, it's like every move is a little adrenaline surge. Because <laughs> think, if I go there, the guards might hear me, or if I try moving too quickly, but I need to get out of there, there's a patrol <laughs> coming, there's a patrol coming. And I think the guard is, is, a, is a much more kind of measured, patient, you know, but when you when you get the opportunity, you need to get the ninja fast because they disappear again really quickly. Being ninjas. So, being ninjas. So there's there is a there's a great sort of simulation um, that, that underlies a, a really sort of solid solid tactical strategy game. Um, I think um, we've we've we worked really hard to do a good job with the figures. Um, yeah, no, and if we just kind of spread a bunch out yeah, here that the camera could out. pick them up. Yeah, we've we, we've got we've got the various guards. Um, Come in two colors, so so obviously different players. Obviously the ninja in black. In black, of course. Um, but the, the ninja has various tricks, so you can end up getting uh, guards drinking a little bit too much sake. <laughs> um, we've got the traitor. Which is the red one. Yeah. And uh, I, I think the figures. I mean, I think you know it's a be beautiful job being done on the figures. Um, that they, they've really we're really pleased with how they've come up. Well, yeah, and I'm particularly impressed also by the the artwork, and you know just some of the top card that I can see there and the, the, the missions are yeah, quite I, I, stunning. We're, 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 very pl we're very pleased with that. I mean, obviously Legend of the Five Rings as a game has a history of really good art and we work with some of the best artists in the industry. Um, so we're, you know, we're very proud of what they've done for us. So, guessing, because I, I don't know how to play this game, but I'm guessing this is for tracking this ninja a, movements. This is for tracking ninja movements. I, I don't know how much you can pick up on the rule book, but basically, um, uh, you, you, you plot out where you're moving in secret behind the screen. So, you know, you, you get a screen and you, you plot out, out your moves. Which the screen is exactly wide enough to yeah. cover the pad. <laughs> so, you, yep, you, you then plot that out. And, and you're basically trying to get into the center of the castle because your mission will lie, will lie somewhere in the center of the castle. Um, the, 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 um, the guard player at the start will allocate letters which represent the different missions, but the, um, the ninja player doesn't know where they're allocated, so there's hidden information for them, um, and, and they can go in there and search. But there are, 
it's, it's not all plain sailing. There's uh, there's nightingale boards, so there are traps in there as well. So occasionally ah, the boy. ninja will step on a board and it will make that nice creaking sound that they were designed to make. And <laughs> the alert level goes up and the guards know there's somebody around. Um, so so the ninja really has to do a number of things. They have to get in there. They have to they have to search. Um, they have to find the right mission and then they have to try and get out again. Getting out again is quite important. <laughs> um, so a successful win for a ninja? A successful win for a ninja is completion of the, uh, completion of the, uh, the objectives and getting out again. A successful win for the guard is to stop them completing the objectives or to kill the, uh, to kill the intruders. And then now how does the traitor figure into that? Well the traitor, um, the traitor behaves very much like the ninja, but they, they just have a different card set. So um, the, the, the traitors do slightly different things. I can't I can't find my way through all the cards right now. But but the, 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 the traitors will do will do slightly different things. But you know, we have some nice cards. It was a cat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have uh, potent sake. This is, uh, this is so so. My second game today with sake involved. The same game with sake. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good day when you get two games I, of I sake, know. right? <laughs> um, so. So yeah, the, uh, the, 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 the trade has slightly different actions and slightly different cards available to them. Um, and the, the players, if, if you're playing with two, the players can confer. Um, but, you know, so, that, so there can be a degree of teamwork. And, and sometimes if the, if the trade is in trouble, the, you know, the, the ninja may be able to distract the guards away uh -huh. and, and so on and so forth. So. Well, two more questions about ninja. Um, now I know you guys are selling this at the fair right now. You're actually right across the hall from us. But um, a release date in the U.S. I beg your pardon. Is there a release date for the U.S.? Uh, it's November. I don't think we've got a final date just yet, but uh, it will be releasing in quite November. Quite soon, though. It is quite soon, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, how many does this play up to, maximum? Four. All right. Well, that is our quick run through. A, a quick run through of Ninja. Of Ninja.